Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner with me Mark from DadX and we're back here in Island Lake dragging behind us another Chevy pickup. We picked up the one the rusty legacy mission required us to bring back down here to the farmer. It wasn't any kind of a trial getting it across the map, there were a couple of little muddy spots. I did have the trailer in tow, I have had to separate the trailer and uh, have a bit of a lighter drag. That's the Scout fuel trailer of course which I am now keeping with each of my Scout vehicles. We're getting very stuck right here trying to get into the objective. Luckily, we put some fuel in the blue Chevy, so it shoved us in to the objective. There you go. Can we get out? Yes, there's a nice handy tree. I'm sure we'll have no hassle getting out here, but these roads really, as you saw there, we've been a couple of foot of the edge of the track. I was literally stuck. Come on. Here's how to get the most out of a tree, just let it go a bit, I've broken it in the end but I think I've got out far enough. I think we'll lock up the dips, going into that manual reverse, there you go, we'll, we're out. Right, that's done, we've got a couple more odd jobs to do but we'll get on with those later. In fact we might do two of them at once pretty much. But anyway, just to remind you of the mission we've just completed, of course the blue Chevy was up here in the water we dragged it out earlier on so we just brought it back down this track around here no real issues at all past the loaf he's just hanging out in case we need him we refueled at the trailer that's right there but now we need to get this bad boy the western star twin steer over to the map to get some of that oil equ uh, drilling equipment moved so i think mud ties are appropriate they're rated very good for off-road very good for mud there's not a piece of tarmac on that entire map in fact i don't think there's anything apart from the outside of the garage the hard standing there between us and where we need to get the things two maps with no roads so we're going to sell those tires while we think of it there's no point in having those hanging around we've absolutely nothing else really upgrade wise unlocked on this truck at this stage nope 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 we can engage diff lock if we need to, but I've been assured, or I've been told, this has got plenty of oomph, and if I'd made a bit more effort, I could have actually moved it rather than just resetting it when I found it. But um, I think at the time we didn't really need the truck, and we certainly would have wanted to bring it back to the garage to get these better tyres on it before we start trying to haul loads around. So we'll just put some fog lights on the roof. As you see, we're very restricted in what we can put on. When I look at the bumpers, I look at the one that's going to give the most ground clearance. That looks like it will clear the most zombies, but we want this one, I think. Yeah, the others sit a little bit low for my liking. We don't need anything on our sunshade, and we've got a choice of two tyres. Wow, that's a tough decision. Paint job, I think we'll just see what we... I like these little ones down here. We'll stick with the red and black. You'll match the fleet star. Lovely. Right, so let's get out into the great wild. I've not actually really driven this truck at all yet, have I? So let's see how we get on. First thing to note, of course, is it's not articulated. It has got the four steering wheels at the front, so it can turn reasonably tightly to compensate, but at the same time, this is a very long straight thing. Very fast. <laughs> I like that. Right, this track is the most direct route straight across the map, but... Do we need to go round these rocks to the right, or can we somehow get through here? It's still moving, it's going, yep. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of engine. Oh, we're almost over. We've got the winch on. Right, we need to turn away from the winch point. There you go. We got him back up. Sorry the tree was in the way there. That was very much um, live action saving myself. When you've got, when you tip over there to the, we were tipping to the left, so I put the winch onto the tree on the right, and then you steer to the left to maximise your chances of righting yourself. Well, we certainly seem to be doing okay thus far. Let's head over to the other map, I think. I'll meet you there, unless there's any kind of incident on the rest of this journey across Smithfield Dam. But to be honest, I doubt it. This feels quite a nice truck to me. And here we are, we've made it across the map with no incident whatsoever. Here's the plan. Let's have a quick look at the map. Instruments of development. We've got to pick up drilling equipment from here, here and here. 
and I assume it is one piece from each. We can't just keep going back to the same one until we've got three. And then we've got to bring them down to the warehouse. So we are going to head up to the middle one, first of all, and grab that and bring that back. That's the plan. We can grab a little bit of fuel on the way and see how this guy gets on. And we've got a couple of trucks around just in case he needs any kind of assistance, although I think that's unlikely. Let's have a little look inside. Oh, I like the dialage. That's a lot of dials. Oh, my word. I can't imagine what that many dials would be necessary for unless it's got some mad hydraulic system going on in the back. I didn't actually mention when we were in the garage. Obviously, it has no variation of attachments for the back. This is it. It is big and it is flat and it carries, I guess, four slots of load. It's certainly making very nice progress through here. Very misty this morning. Going to try and cut a few corners up here. It is a little bit tippy, this lorry. I don't think you can take it for granted that you can just chuck it about. I mean, I already had to rescue it once on the way down that slope, didn't I? I was certainly being a little bit too uh, exuberant, shall we say. Let's just squeeze. Oh, the lope's got his physics. Let's squeeze past him. And then we've got quite a corner to get round up here. There was one point on the journey across Smithfield Dam. When I got just down to the river crossing, I came out about 10, 15 yards along the river bank from where I really wanted to be. And I did have to do about a 20-point turn to get to where I wanted to be, just because this thing is so long. And, yes, look, I'm going to not risk it tipping down over the bank on the far side of this bend. There we go. So, we're going to shoot straight through. Are we going the right way? No. We're not even going the right way. We don't need to go this way. <laughs> Wrong turn. It was exciting. At least I checked, eh? It didn't look right, it didn't feel right. It absolutely wasn't right. Got the nice beepers going for safety. Come on, just a little bit more. I think we've had enough there. Come on, no, no accidents due to my mis guided navigation what are we hitting doesn't matter we crushed it whatever it was haha -ha. right here we go we're back on the right road the next right turn is the right turn we're looking for right and again we've got quite a turn here I think one of these trees might have to go down. <laughs> can we get past him? Can we get past him? Yes, we can. There we go, right. Here's one of the wonderful bridges we built. Here's the second part of that bridging exercise right here. I'm getting the impression that unless we've already done this kind of a load on the other map with the fleet star right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get turned around before we get loaded up ah talk of the devil there is the fleet star chilling out up here right let's get this big boy turned around before we put the load on that's got to be sensible hasn't it right That looks about right to me. Cargo management, drilling equipment, one. Thank you very much. It's certainly pretty big. Is it going to make us more tippy? Or is it actually going to make us a bit more planted with the weight on the back? That remains to be seen. We're going to be very careful at this very tight bend at the end of this track, I think. 
and not go too fast because that actually seems to be one of my biggest issues all right we've got to get up this hill and swing straight around to the left come on lock those diffs come on big boy you can do it we might not do this in one turn but we'll do it Ooh. I felt us desperately close to tipping over there come on I've got a winch onto the telegraph pole over there I'm not moving Come on. We're stuck on that tree. Come on, just get around the tree. Get around the we need to get around the tree. That tree is having an amazing amount of physics, I think, for a little tree. Right, there we go, we're off the tree. Let's try and swing around the tree. Lock those dips. Come on. Come on. We can do it. Can we do it? Let's try a slightly different run up. There we go, it up. Handbrake on. Let me have a look at the map. Are we going to be better off just going back this way than trying to get around this bend? To be honest, I can't see that there's much in it distance-wise between going around there and going around there. I think it's going to be much more sensible to go with the flow here. Yeah, I think we made I made a good decision. I think we could have tried to get around that corner, but I didn't like the way the cambers were going to affect this big, big long truck with this big heavy load. So as I was saying, not too fast. I'm not doubting we got the power. And there were also a couple of little points on that track around the area where the loaf is that are a little bit odd on the camber and this is the first journey under load this seems to be going okay don't get off the track we know how treacherous it can be when we get off that track right so now we're going to be swinging back through the first bridges that we built across the swamp to complete the very first mission right here here we go and we do know that all of our laden trucks got across this swamp and these bridges quite nicely so let's hope we get a repeat performance of that I'm actually wondering, I'm thinking those, um, we'll check when we're up at the warehouse that the trailers that are sitting around on this map aren't actually as long as this lorry. Are they? We'll check. Because I was thinking of grabbing one of those trailers with the western white style, which is right on the other side of the map where one of the pickups is. And see if we could get one load back with that. But now I'm a little bit unsure... Right, now we need to be careful here because we know we don't really like this bit of road. It does naughty things like that. You see that? Alright, I'm trying to keep this a bit level. Come on. Oh, we 
got to get off this weird camber. We're doing it, we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Come on, drag us up. We've hit the Chevy. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping till we're level. <laughs> right, just a minute. We'll change truck. We'll get this guy out of the way. He's sunk up to his axles in the mud. Just sat here. Come on. <laughs> Come on, move. You couldn't be more in the way, little truck. Look at the size difference. Look at the stance. I hope we're getting away with this. Crikey. Right, can we stop here without sinking? Hope so. Engine off, remember. Change truck. Right. We are upright. Let's hope we remain that way now. Oh, the ground is so soft off the track, it just sinks straight in, right? Hopefully, no stress now. Made ourselves a little chicane on that bend with the, uh, the Scout fuel trailers we've got knocking around everywhere. But we've almost reached the objective. Took it just carefully enough. And hopefully I haven't spoken too soon here. Come on. Yeah. Definitely the wettest little part of the journey. We've only got those rear wheels driving, remember. Take the diff lock off. One more wet bit. We've got the power just to push through this one. Yes, we have. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Right. We have nearly, nearly got the first of three to where it needs to be. There you go, have that. Let's see, is this as long as one? Yeah, it is the same length, isn't it? So that can take. So in theory, we could get a load of that drilling equipment into one of these trailers. Let's have a look at that option. Engine off. Well, as we've seen, we found and uh, are using some very big, powerful trucks now, but our old friend, the Fleet Star, still has his role to play. In fact, he's going to double up his usefulness right here. When I get parked up down here, I shall elaborate on exactly what it is I'm up to. We've got this load of wood, which we need to get the last bridge on the western side of the map in place to get over to where we need to pick up the drilling equipment. That, oh no, I've misjudged this, haven't I? Because I do need the dolly dolly. Let's get the bridge done. I thought I could just hitch that on the back. Wasn't the trailer over by the, the twin steer? Wasn't that a hitch on trailer? No, my mistake. Right, my plan's just fallen to pieces. So we need something with a dolly on, but we've now already got this one on the map. I'm going to off camera get that bridge built with the Fleet Star because nothing exciting is going to happen. And I guess it's going to be down to this guy to back and forth across the map with the loads. Otherwise, I need to bring something over from Smithfield Dam. Refitted to take that trailer yeah okay we're nearly there we're getting just over to the objective for corporate expansion which i'm sorry i selected this area of the map is very hard the ground and it's quite bouncy so when, when you've got used to all that soft stuff do bear that in mind right so now we've got the mission Start tracking. 
it's just over this hill. I'm sure I activated that mission before, so I don't know why it's not active now. Because I wasn't 100% sure it was just two pieces of wood we needed here. But I guess I got it right. Well, let's not tip over now. See what I mean? Definitely, with these trucks upgraded as they are now, caution is required rather than effort from many a circumstance. Right, there you go. And there's another bridge built. So, I'm going to stop your engine. You're quite short of fuel now, aren't you? Let's have a little rethink. Where are we? So we've got the Tagers just over here. He's got loads of fuel. The White Western Star is right here. So, but he can't do what I wanted him to do. So we've either got to bring the Twin Steer all the way across here, which we know is going to be no problem because we've done most of it. It's going to be just a long drive and then getting it back, we'll see. And then I think for the third one, which is the shortest journey, we might try something a little bit different. We've had a little bit of a change of plan. As you can see, I brought the Tager and the little load start. We were, or they were, as you may recall, wedged up here by this uh, lookout tower. Where were we? up in here the lodestar got itself uh sorry the yeah the lodestar got himself wedged between the rocks didn't he and then uh, the tiger had to go and drag him out so we've come back around here we refueled the white western star a little bit on the way past we're now down here the tanker on the tiger is empty and i don't seem to be able to refuel it i'm just going to check if i'm over here and I try to refuel. Can I? Yeah. Ah, I can refuel the fuel tank. I will. I didn't want to take that much. <laughs> Just a minute. Let's change back. I definitely want some fuel in this trailer that I found. Uh, just over here so it's not revealed by any of the watchtowers. There's a little turning in here. There's a scout fuel trailer right there. So I'll grab that. We are going to put some more fuel back in this trailer. Ah, oh, the tr I get it. The tanker has to give it out. I'm just going to nick some out of the Tega for now. And we're going to take this down and give it to the Fleet Star. And then these guys are going to go off on a little bit of a mission to try to pick up the container for the Fallen Antenna mission and get that background and then we shall crack on with the oil rigs but we mustn't forget these side missions are very important there is the timed mission and there's one that we need to seem to uh, run about the map a little bit with a, a scout vehicle so we're going to get up here the team livery seems to have found itself now, doesn't it? The whole red and black. It's always a nice colour scheme, if you ask me. We're now going to refuel from the Scout Fuel Trailer the Fleet Star. And in fact, we're just going to put the rest of the fuel in the Load Star. And we're going to let the Fleet Star drag us both. And the plan is now we're just going to cut through this road, past this tower, then back round here, grab the container from here for the fallen antenna, kind of do a lap, come back round this way around here. That seems to be the most convenient thing to do. Right, this part of the plan is going well. I've just had a little thought though. I'm going to release the winch. I'm going to switch vehicle because I think I should probably repair myself a little bit because uh, that, then it's going to save a bit of fuel. We were over-consuming on the fuel. We hadn't lost power. There was nothing that desperate going on. But now we change back to the fleet start and get back on our way. I think fuel is becoming a little bit more finite, although there's that huge tanker. 
Oh, by the way, when I picked up the load of wood, I've forgotten to pick up the... Uh, <laughs> I didn't winch myself onto the load stuff. When the fleet star grabbed that last load of wood, it did cross from the oil rig to this side to get on this track over here. Exactly the same way that the Zixka, the blue truck, did. Straight across the swamp. The developers seem to have hidden enough substantial things under the water for you to get enough toes to leapfrog across there. Just going to avoid that little soft patch. I'll show you what I mean because it's literally here where the crossing point is, isn't it? Do you remember? Straight across there in front of us. There are enough, I guess, tree trunks buried under that water to get us across. So it is a valid route, so I'm going to say it is a valid route. I've done it with the Fleet Star. I've done it with the Zix. Right, so we've got a load to pick up over here somewhere. I'm hoping it's not in such a stupid place we can't even get the Fleet Star to it. Where is that arrow pointed? Right over there. Right, at least we've got our friend in case we need a bit of an assistance. But, um... Looking very broken, this antenna. Very droopy. Right, so somewhere here is a cargo container. Am I doing this right or have I done this completely backwards? Just a moment. Right, fallen antenna. Deliver to fallen antenna. One cargo container. Truck with crane is recommended. We are a truck with a crane. Where is the cargo container? Cargo management. One car. Ah, right. Somehow. <laughs> Why did we need a truck with a crane then? If it literally just loads on like that. That's a little bit strange, isn't it? It does say truck with crane is recommended. I look at the right mission. Well, I've got to put it down at the other end with a crane, maybe. That certainly does not need a crane. We're a little bit top heavy now. As you see. <laughs> But I think we'll get across here without too much stress. We got out of that quarry on the last map, okay. I'm sure we're going to be fine here. And uh, let me just think, do we want to drag the load star back this way? There's nothing really... There is that scout mission right there. So yeah, I'm going to actually leave the Lodestar here. I'm going to remember to change truck and stop his engine. Because he fired up his engine when we were towing him. So do remember to do that. If you're towing a vehicle, if it's got fuel in it, they're running their engine. If you just drop them off, their engine stays running. And we'll just get on with this little delivery. I didn't expect to see quite so much of the old Fleet Star in this truck, but I'm not sorry that we are, to be quite honest. There's been another big update today, while I'm right before I recorded this. I haven't had a time to look into it. It looks like there may be some more maps. I'm going to do my best to knuckle down and get on with this playthrough. This map seems to be almost an episode or two left in it, max. But, uh... We'll see how we get on. I do have a bit more of a calmer time now. I seem to be one of the few people for whom the whole pandemic thing has just made work much, much busier. And now I don't work in like any kind of medical profession or directly related like that, but there's certainly not been a dull moment for us. Right, there we go. Again, we're going to use a little bit of restraint on the way down these slopes because the bounces are the danger. 
there's some mighty rocks to be found on this route, if I recall as well, so we'll be careful about them. Mm, that's a very elaborate shortcut and I've no idea why it's there. I will send a vehicle round there just because I don't like leaving areas of the map dark. We are certainly going to be sticking to the main road for now. Our mate the Tega should be over here somewhere. Once we get around this next couple of corners, the objective is not too far away. And what I think I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is once I've dropped... I need to keep going. Drop this lorry off. Sorry, this load off. I'm going to reset this lorry back to the garage in Smithfield Dam. We're going to put the... Uh, I keep referring it to the dolly. It's not what they call it. Saddle is what they're called in the game. So we can get one of those trailers. We are going to try the closest... Alright, we no, we're not going to go the silly twisty way. We're going to go the big way. Yeah, we're going to try and get the closest piece of drilling equipment back to the warehouse with the Fleet Star. Because I think we should... As you can see, he's no slouch. He's no slouch at all. He's getting the work done. And I still recall a couple of reviews and stuff of the game I saw early on where that, you know, they slated the fact that the starter trucks were useless. And I, I think you agree. With a little bit of patience and also as you get better at the game, which is also relevant. I don't know why so many people think that they can just pick up a brand new game and they're going to be great at it and they're going to be getting the best out of whatever asset they're using in the game before they've actually got their head around the mechanics you know the steering is not broken it just doesn't work like you're used to because it doesn't self-center etc etc but i quite enjoy this game and to be honest with you the one of the reasons that i haven't plowed through it is because it's one of those games that you could just pick up and play there's no narrative for me to have forgotten i can not play this game for a couple of days or even longer and uh, right am I going the right way yeah I've got a bit of a splash here yeah and you're right back into it and it's always good to have some games like that in your arsenal that's a little bit deep don't want that on let's lock up those dips can we drag ourselves out of here or are we going to need a friend I think we need a little bit of a friend but not much and what's the point of having a winch if you never test it, eh? Come on. Come on. Always must be a screenshot or two of the fleet star knocking around. Right. And I much prefer my screenshots to feature the face of the vehicle. Right, let's just navigate properly here. We're doing a right turn. I'm going to back up so I don't have to play with that camber. Well, what I'm going to do, I think, for this episode is hopefully, barring disasters now, complete this mission and I won't reset this truck until the next, this episode is actually live. So you guys just tell me, should I let the Fleet Star have a go with the drilling equipment or not? Because I don't want to... I want to know that we got the most out of all of the equipment that we could. The GMC, I haven't really brought, I haven't brought him onto this map at all, have I? But no doubt we shall see him again one day. I'm quite sure some of the missions are going to take us back to that map anyway in some way. Or the patches may be adding more missions into those maps. We do need to keep track of that. And certainly before the next episode, I will have had a proper look at the update. Right, come on, we're, we're so close. We're so close, don't fall over now. Come on. 
Lovely. There you are. But, in fact, let's just check. We'll stop the engine. Handbrake on, because we started rolling down the hill already there. Why? Ah, there you go. That wasn't working. I must have still been in a zone. Let's just skip back to our friend, the Lodestar. He should now be next to a fixed antenna. No. <laughs> oh well. The fallen antenna is still fallen, but we've completed the mission, so I don't really feel that I should be too worried about that. Anyway, we're going to leave it for an episode there, guys. Yeah, should I reset the the old fleet star and let him have a go with some of the drilling equipment on this map? Just the shortest journey, just for old time's sake. Or should I just crack on with the big fat fella? I'm going to move the twin steer over to that oil um, site off camera. Because I don't expect anything exciting to happen. Anyway, if you've liked this episode, leave it a like. Any comments, please feel free to leave them. All your feedback is very valued. I can assure you of that. Subscribe if you want to stay in touch. But for now, guys, just take care of yourselves, each other, and goodbye.